Welcome to Training for Process Instrumentation. My name is Dieter Haas. In this tutorial you will learn how to adjust the display and visualize diagnostic values. We will learn how to activate the backlight to always on. And we will adjust the six display views. They are fully configurable. View 1. I want flow value and a graph of the flow. View 2. I want a totalizer value of the flow. View 3. I want to deactivate. View 4. I want to keep. View 5. I want to show six diagnostic values. View 6. No changes. View 1. And we go into the menu. It is possible to deactivate the access via user pin. All necessary steps to do so are explained in our tutorial CTRANS FS230 Additional Features. In this example we enter via user. The user pin is 2, 4, 5, 7. Okay. Backlight always on. We enter setup. Local display. Go to backlight and switch to always on. View 1. I want to adjust one value and graph. View one value and graph. First value, volume flow, that's fine. Graph scale mode, I want to fix the graph scale mode. The lower limit, zero is fine. The upper limit, I adjust 0.5, that fits to the application. View 2. I want to adjust totalizers. First value is totalizer 1. Graph scale mode I want to keep on auto. I must define what is totalizer 1. This I can do in totalizer. I must define what is totalizer 1. This can be done in the process value settings. Back to local display. Now we go to view 3. I want to disable. View 4, nothing to change. In view 5, I want to adjust the six diagnostic values. Six diagnostic values. The first value I want to choose is Rx gain up path 1. Here you receive amplifier, the gain value for the upstream receive signal. Lower gain values indicate a stronger receive signal. Typical range is from 0 to 50 dB. Second value. Here I want to have the Rx gain down path 1. Third value. Here I want to have the signal to noise ratio up path 1. 
As an error up stands for a signal to noise ratio of the upstream signal. A high signal to noise ratio indicates less baseline noise on the received signal. Typical range 25 to 80 dB. Force value. This is the SNR down pass one. Fifth value. I choose sound velocity pass one. Sixth value. I take correlation factor path one. A value of 1 represents the best correlation, 0 the worst. Now we have adjusted all 6 diagnostic values. Back to the fuse. Now let's have a look at a different fuse. View 1. I change the flow and you can see the change of the value and the changing graph. View 2. Totalizer is totalizing. View 3. Is disabled. We are already in view 4. View 5. We have the 6 diagnostic values. I let air in the tube and you can see the gain and signal to noise values are changing. That's it for today. Thanks for watching the tutorial. More content can be found on the attached QR code. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.